What it do? It's your nigga. I see you feel me. CEO recognize me records. Hyphen block affiliate. Made boys in BMG. You see it. I'm back, motherfuckers. And I know y'all miss me. So pick this. This is what I'm talking about today. Kanye West versus 50 Cent. Was that something good for hip hop? Or was it a publicity stunt? Me personally, I feel like it was more of a publicity stunt. If I'm saying that right. Publicity stunt. There we go. Um, because 50's supposed to be so gangster, you know, he go hard on everybody, you know, if you don't, you know, if he don't like you and your mama talk to you, he don't like your mama now, you know, your kids talk to you, he don't like your kids now, you know, the little traffic guard say hi to you, he don't like the traffic guard, you know how 50 do, he go after anybody and everybody that's associated with, you know, smiling at you or however the fuck you want to do it, keep it up, gangster. Um, Kanye, y'all know Kanye, cocky as fuck, arrogant as hell. But he's a hard worker from what his products is putting out. Look like he's putting his time. He, he you know, he, he, he on top of his shit now. Like after that accident, his life changing events, he's back on his grind. I give him that. But 106 Park promoting 911, they album was like, oh, it's a monumental day with those two lackluster hosts. Where's friend AJ? Just come back. Cup for the season? Just come back. But anyway, I digress. Back to the point. They point it as a monumental day. How you gonna compare a CD sale to lives? Like, all them lives lost that. I don't really get it. But if that's the direction y'all wanna go in, do your thing. You know, I don't work for BET or MTV, which owns BET. So I don't have to hold my tongue on shit. I can speak about whatever the fuck I want. And I guess they feel the same way. They chose to say it's a great day instead of we're going to say RIP in a moment of silence or something. But anyway, they played it up. like and then, well, Basically, let me get back. I think 50 wants to release his album on that day to outseal Jay-Z, which who released his album that day on 9-11 in 2001. It was just coincidental that everything, no tragic events happened like that. Jay-Z still sold a nice amount of CDs. But, I mean, that wasn't his point. He was just dropping the CD, one of the greatest ones that, you know, felt he, he had in his discography at the time. And it was a cold album, solid, you feel me? People was talking about that album for three months later, you feel me? Still to this day, people talk about that album. But, with 50 Cent and Kanye shit, it's like, I mean, I heard they're supposed to be going on tour. I mean, I don't know, I don't work for neither one of them. They don't have time to check for me, so I can really give a shit. But, for 50 to be like, you know, I'm gonna retire after this. I heard he got another album that he got to do with Interscope. Then he said he's going to leave. So you're not retiring. You're doing another album. So you're not keeping up your word that you put out there. Pretty sure you just said it in the moment. But, hey, you gangster. You still said it. You know, you the CEO, G unit. You know, you do what you do. Stick to your word, brother. But it's whatever, I guess. That's, that's how it is in the business. I'm not in that business. For obvious reasons. It's a lot more fake than it is real. And I'd rather, you know, do the independent thing. I'm from East Up, you feel me? So we can get it. And we don't have to be contracted with all the bullshit. But the whole thing for them to be going on tour, it's like, okay. They basically did it because they knew the album was going to sell. But they had to generate all this attention from us and every, from the audience, you know. Because I, I, I got caught up in a little bit. I bought Kanye. I'm a here 50, but I bought Kanye. But they just doing it just to pump up their sales. I'm not mad at them because, I mean, for hip-hop, they need that. that they, I, it was good in hip-hop for the fact all them great records sold. But in two months, y'all tell me if y'all still bumping them albums. Tell me if y'all looking back on them like y'all was looking back on the blueprint. You feel me? Or like people was looking back on, on Keep the Sneaks Copium. You feel me? Three, four months, five months, six months later, you still talking about slaps on there. Still, you know what I'm saying, hearing hearing the lyrical content that they coming with, you feel me? They put it out there, it's just catching your ears then, you feel me? You, you, you still was learning something from it, instead of just the single, this single, the two, three singles, couple videos, those are all songs you really care about, maybe one or two more, and then you put that album up, it's collecting dust, and now we all just sitting around twiddling our thumbs like, I wonder who got a new CD coming out. I wonder what's the next video on 106 Apart. I wonder what's the next video coming out on MTV. And then you just going through the same old process. Oh, they're pumping it up. 
a month, a month or two weeks before it come out, and then two weeks later, three weeks later, it's like, so what's next? Fuck that. This is how it is. You feel me? When I drop my shit, when the May boys we drop our shit, we try to be consistent with it. You feel me? We strictly for the streets right now. You feel me? We trying to, you know, we gonna hit the mainstream line, but right now we trying to do it how we want to do it. Putting our music out, putting our message out, just doing it for us. Because we trying to do it for the people, for real people. Not just the person that's going to buy it, you know, they got to be forced to something. They got to see a video, otherwise they don't care about the album. They got to hear it on the radio, otherwise they won't know who's who. But, I mean, I guess, I guess that it is what it is. Like I said, though, y'all tell me in two or three months if y'all still listen to the Kanye or the Curtis album, and if it affects you the way old school hip hop albums did, even before the Jay Z, just old school Pac albums, old school Big albums, you still draw back to them. To this day, months later after the release, you were still drawn back to it. It wasn't a publicity stunt. It was just a release. They was putting out a body of work for you that they, you know, what I'm saying, put they sweat, blood, and tears into. Gave it to you. You feel me to get get another piece of them? Are artists doing that today? I don't think so. But. Check back in with me, you know. Let me know what you think. I'll put up a video for you, some songs, me and my my stuff next, you feel me? Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I'm falling into the same lines or if I'm trying to stick true to something. You feel me? You got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. You feel me? But, I mean, always remember, you feel me? Hyphy is a way of living. It's not a fad, you beezies. You heard it here first. You're probably seeing it on my MySpace. Johnny Jones from East Oakland, California. Said it first. That's my original quote. Don't bite it. If you do, shit, I'll probably be clapping my hands like, thank you for acknowledging that. Thank you for recognizing me. You feel me? Recognize me, records. You see it. You see it. You see it. I see you feel me. You feel me? Hiking block, made voice. Y'all remember this. Keep your ears to the streets, your eyes on your homies, and your heart with God, and you'll never go wrong. I guarantee it.